Joined by the 2021 Player of the Year and Golden Boot winner in the Canadian Premier League, Gian Morelli of Halifax Wanderers, on a day where it is announced, sadly, that his season is over due to an ACL injury. Zhao, I cannot thank you enough for doing this on what is a really difficult day for you, I know, and your family. Um, difficult place to start, I suppose. I suppose we should start in the nation's capital on the weekend, um, near the end of the game in the 88th minute. Uh, just talk us and our viewers through what happened there in that play and, and what you felt right away. Um, hey, um, thanks for having me again. It's always a pleasure. It is really difficult, a difficult time for me, but... It happens, you know, like our, our job is cruel sometimes. Um, yeah, man, like it was a weird, um, it was a weird feeling at the time. Um, I remember running up uh, the field to try to get a second ball headed back. And uh, we were already like uh, losing the game. So I was just like trying to, to do all, all I could to, to help the team. And the ball was kind of far from me, so I tried reaching it with my right foot and my, my left foot st stayed on the ground. And it was kind of like I was kind of stretching it. And I, I watched it a million times again. And I guess my, my right knee didn't uh, support all, all my weight on it. So it literally popped. I felt the, the crack. So straight away when I fell, um, I already told the referee it was I was done. I, I felt the like I, I'd never had it before. I just I was talking to the doctors and, the, and our physio here. I never felt it before, but somehow I knew it straight away was was something bad. Interesting. Yeah, we could see that in the footage when we're doing the game and the broadcast right away. You kind of communicated your your concerns and you felt something bad. How do you manage that I mean, emotionally? I mean, we've seen so many of these in football and different times, but what goes through your mind immediately Immediately when that happens? Um, honestly, there's so many images and thoughts going through your mind at that point. You can't really explain what it is. It was just like a movie replaying in my head over and over again. And... I held my tears as much as I could, but when I realized I was getting off on, on a stretcher, then I couldn't hold it back. Um, and again, I posted I posted on my, on my Instagram and on Twitter. The players and the, the supporters there, they really, honestly, I'm really thankful that they reacted that way because it's not, it's not always like this. And even some of the players during the game, you know, like we, we, we talk badly to each other during the game and, and it's weird. You kind of like, it's business, but you don't like what's happening there. And then suddenly all the players, even when we had like some scratch, like scrap, scraps during the, during the game, it came to me and said, it's going to be okay. So it's, it's huge in that moment like that, having some, some messages like this. So I'm, I'm grateful that happened that way. But yeah, again, like it's just really hard to to explain what I'm feeling, what I felt that moment, and but I I think I wrap my head my head around and I'm already like focusing on getting back. Yeah, as you should. And by the way, we can't wait for you to get back. You are a star in this league, and our league is way better for having you in it. And again, can't thank you enough for explaining some of your feelings. Uh, I know how difficult this is. So much appreciation and. and we're really grateful for you being able to do that. I, you know, the purpose of this is also to learn from this this situation in terms of what's next and going forward. And and also to give you an opportunity, as you just said, to thank the Atletico Ottawa and the Canadian Premier League family. And I'm sure at that moment, the the, the people who were, who were taking care of you at that moment as well, right? Because you're emotionally all over the place. And and, and yep. what was your, what would be your message, I suppose, that to, to those first responders who got out there right away to help you off the pitch and things? No, is it, they, obviously they know what to do in that situation. A great job, obviously they're all they're all talking to me, trying to calm me down. Because when I got when I got on the stretcher, um, I started crying, and not because of pain of anything. It's just sadness. And they were like, "We're here for you. Like we're gonna do everything to to help you. Like to keep calm. Like so. It's again, it's stuff that that point I wasn't really pay, paying attention. But then you think of it, and you just like. 
you're just grateful to be around those people working like that. And it's, um, again, like, thank, thanks to everyone that helped me go through that. So how do you manage this, my man? Like, obviously, we're all here for you. Obviously, we're here for you. Talk, you can come and talk football on our shows anytime you want, as I said to you before, as, as a friend. But, you know, you and I did a long chat last year um, where we went through your whole career. Uh, and I, know, I never forget the moment you told me about when you were a child, when you had your, your zip line accident, right? You, yeah. you, your quote, not mine. You, you know, you said, I thought I was going to die that day, right? That, yeah. That's real life lowness, right? This is a low moment as well. But is that perspective for you a little bit? You know, I know it's tough right now, but you know that you're going to get back on your football life will carry on. Yeah, well, you can relate to that a little bit. It's just different times, different mindset. Everything is different. I was just a kid at that point, and you don't really know what can happen and what couldn't. Obviously, in a moment like this, the probably the I have the same amount of weight on my shoulders because you know you can you can deny you can not think of will I ever be as good as I was again will I ever be confident again you know stuff like that goes through my my mind and but I see a lot of players coming back and and being even like playing even better so it's just really hard to, I'm, I'm a very anxious person person and I like I want to I want to know my future but again I have to be calm and get my mind like right and not think of those stuff right now and just focus like day by day by like improving my my injury so it's hard not to think but in my head um when that those thoughts come 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 along i have to to think of other stuff and how are you how is your this family this rapport that you built in halifax how strong is that going to be for you now your teammates and how that how's that response been already for you no, it's it's huge, man. Like all the fans already wishing me luck and everything. Everyone is very worried. Uh, I mean, it's it's again, it's very nice having this and knowing that people recognize you, like your your job, your your hard work, um, your abilities, and people cheer for you all the time. And even though in these moments they they don't abandon you, they're obviously gonna like they, they'll keep supporting the team anyway but like they have a very like close uh relationship with the players here so like i feel like everyone is really close to me and sending messages and the players obviously i told this before they're all my brothers and everyone's really sad unfortunately but the life goes on and like we have an important game on saturday and hopefully they can leave that stuff outside of the pitch and keep doing what they're doing and improving game by game. And I suppose the last one for you before I let you go, my man, and again, thanks so much for your time, is that you were a massive part of this club on the pitch, but you're still a massive part of the club off the pitch, no? Even though you're not going to play, I'm sure you'll be in the stands, you'll be with the fa- with the fans, you'll still be with the players, and, and I guess they'll look to you and your leadership to to help them get through this year where they'll go out and play for you. Yeah, for sure. In my, in my head right now, this is all I can do for them. And uh, I'll try my best to, to be a positive piece in this team still. Uh, it will be hard, really hard for me not being on the pitch because I really love this. Uh, but again, this is my job right now. I want them to, to have a success this year. Even though I won't be like um, one of the the players playing, but still I'm part of the team and I want to help everyone the way I can. And I feel like everyone has a in the team has a big respect for me and and I'll use that the best way as like I can to to help them to to achieve what we want this year. Very well said. I'll share with you my last image of you for the 2022 season will be you dancing 
at York Lion Stadium, and then you getting a massive, massive, well, warm welcome back into the changing room as the winner that day. And I share that because I know you'll be back on the pitch again soon, my man, dancing and winning games again for Halifax and again being one of the greatest players in the Canadian Premier League. So I, I cannot thank you enough for this. I cannot believe and imagine how hard it is for you. My heart breaks as we all do at the Canadian Premier League family. We're here for you, Xiao, and uh, best luck in your rehab. You're going to be back better than ever. I, I guarantee that. Thank you very much, Christian. Uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you. I really like you. You know that. And uh, yeah, man, for sure, I'll do my best to be back here. I love you. And then next year, for sure, I'll, I'll surprise a lot of people again. I don't doubt you. We'll see you on the sidelines soon, my man, and see you on the pitch very shortly. Thanks again for your time. Thank you. See you soon.